Hey what's up guys, Jamie here, back with another video. This one is on Ionic development. I just want to give an overview of what it's like to develop in Ionic and kind of the pros and cons and also just point you in the right direction for how to get started building in Ionic. So first of all, Ionic is kind of a platform to just help you build um, cross-platform hybrid apps. Big keyword right here is cross-platform, so you can see they have plans for Mac, Windows, but primarily it's primarily it's working on mobile right now with iOS and Android and it also builds for web as well. So it's kind of just a great one-stop shop to just build something that works on every platform. Um, Cause like a lot of apps are just really simple. At least like good ones are designed really simple. I feel like many good ones at least. And so like you can build that simple app and just have it work on all platforms and just not really have to worry about learning all these different technologies in order to get your uh, get your app to like work with different groups of people like the people who like Android and iOS and so it's just a huge benefit to um, small teams even like large teams some of their biggest problems that l large teams actually have is like making sure that they support all of these different platforms so you can see right here they're used by like McDonald's, Target, MasterCard. Um, I've used them to build oh, probably like at least a dozen different full-fledged apps, including some I've done just for this channel for education. Um, now I'm going to point you in the right direction for if you want to get started actually coding it. Um, I've done a video on just getting started in Ionic. I'll link that up there. And then I also did a video on um, like building a full-fledged app. Um, there's like a more advanced one, um, which is a super cool app I built. It's called CritList. It's like a, it's like a, a list for your critical tasks. Um, I use it every single day. I've literally used that app that I built every single day since I made that video, which is awesome. So I'm going to be publishing that on the App Store soon. Um, just waiting for all my developer stuff from Apple. Anyway, so I have the whole video on that linked in the annotation before this. And then I also did a, a whole video on like building a calculator in Ionic. If you're more into something just kind of more simple, I'll leave an annotation up there as well. So definitely just click on one of those annotations in order to get started with Ionic. I highly, highly recommend it. There are a lot of different frameworks out there for building mobile apps and just building apps in general. Um, this one is my favorite because it's in HTML and TypeScript and SESS, which which is just like my, it's my real strength. I'm very, very good at those technologies and not so good at all the other ones. It's just kind of hard to master so many different technologies. And since I was working in industry as a web developer um, for a while, then uh, I just got pretty good at writing web code because they were paying me to do it. Um, whereas like all the stuff I learned in school, like Java, C++, C, you name it, all those languages, I don't use those almost at all. Um, I only I use like C Sharp for game development, but I don't really build anything in any of the other languages anymore, despite me having like a bunch of experience in them. So I've committed myself to just learning the Ionic framework, and um, I gotta say it's got like it's got some quirks, it's got some bugs, um, but I think they will just keep getting better and better. And just the idea of having like a single framework based on something I already love, which is web tech, and being able to build to all these different platforms, I think that that is um, priceless, and it's free. That like the You don't really need Ionic Pro for anything unless you want to do more advanced things like <clears throat> like deploying. You can actually like skip App Store deployment, which is pretty crazy, because that's a huge, um, that's a huge problem for a lot of people is like, they want to release an update for their app, but then like they have to go through a couple day process of getting their app approved by Apple and then like getting the update all approved and tested. Um, but with Ionic, you can actually, Ionic Pro, I should say, that's how they make their money. You can actually skip all that and do a software deploy um, directly to the app, which is incredible. Super advanced stuff. Um, I personally I'm kind of kind of poor kind of cheap so <laughs> I don't really use Ionic Pro but if you are loaded then consider using Ionic Pro I have no affiliation with Ionic I just really like the platform and I'm happy to advocate them 
So yeah, guys, that is all about development in Ionic. Again, if you want to get started, just click one of the annotations. Um, and that's basically all I have for this video. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And subscribe for more videos like this. You guys have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video.